All right, hello, welcome. My name is Jason Welsh, and welcome to Alpha Base Generation um, of Geometry. So we're going to be making a small project here in Photoshop, transmitting it over to ZBrush, and then turning it into geometry. And I'll show you kind of like the application and why you would do that, and et cetera and so forth. First part of the actual project is concept. Concept always starts with reference. So let's go into maybe uh, mermaid. Pull out some maybe three or five kind of mythical creatures. Yeah, I like this mermaid thing right here. Okay, so. I'm going to just take this real quick and copy it. Copy image. Bring it back to Photoshop. And file new. We're going to make a document in here that's like 2048 by 2048. And 72. Important RGB color. It's important on 2048, 2048 too. Okay, we'll make a new layer and then paste this into this document. Okay. Take it, shrink it down. I just want a section of this. I, I thought the tail looked kind of cool, so I'm going to take only the tail part and just kind of delete the rest. So I do that by the eraser and I'm just kind of going in here. You don't have to be perfect. This is just concept. Okay, so I like this tail. Oops. They won't care. This is concept. Okay, next. Uh, maybe lion. And I'm looking for something maybe with its open mouth, maybe a little ominous looking, something different. You know, I'm liking this head thing. Thing with concept, don't think about it too much, just do it. You know, you can always go back. It's, there's no right or wrong answer for things. Whoops. So show transformation controls are on, move. I can just start going like this. And what I'm going to do here is select some of this white using the magic wand tool and eliminating it. Delete on the keyboard. Deselect, move, scale, and rotate it to the desired aspect. So I'm liking this. This is kind of cool. Now I'm looking for maybe something with the feet. So I'm going to go back out and generate something else here. How about uh, eagle? Eagle would be kind of cool. Or owl. Owl. Okay, owls have little tiny feet. So I don't know if I'm going to actually find the feet of an owl. It's a small feet. <laughs> How about crow? They have big stupid feet, right? Crow. Yeah, there we go. And at this point, you know, I could probably draw crow feet. So I'm just going to choose to do that at this point. What I'm going to make is a silhouette of this thing. And then we're going to turn it into some kind of necklace pendant. Okay, make a new layer, and we're going to silhouette it out. Okay, you could do that by hand, or you can do it uh, by a few tricks. I'm going to choose to do it by hand, that way I can get a good style to it. Uh, I would choose a brush with some hard edge, like this 19 here. Uh, and then take it and go into the brush menu by going over to here, and choosing 
the tip shape to be spacing none. Okay. Next, let's choose absolute black. And the opacity and flow needs to be at 100%. So what I'll do here is just start embellishing this a little bit. Now work on my outside edges first. If I make too much mistakes, don't worry, I can cut it back. It's, as I said, I want to keep it as loose as possible. And this is only for artists that can't draw. Let's say that. I can, can draw, but not in my students. Some of them might not be able to. So I definitely want them to have this as you know some kind of tutorial where they can take away and do a project. I have to kind of develop things to be very broad. I even have to incorporate like special needs children and all that into the mix so that's why I keep all the videos real short especially for students that have ADD. They may have a hard time focusing on any one thing at any one given time especially if there's flashing lights involved. Important here is to fill in all the black. You don't want any holes but you want your outline to look kind of cool. Okay, so like this for instance, now that I got it roughed in, I might want to take one more pass on the outside of this one and fix up any weird stuff. And then I could cut back using the eraser on the Wacom tablet if I need to around the outside edge. So I'm going to adopt some weird feed in here. Just like that. So that could be anything from a Q-tip with um, a fin and a claw. Nobody will know what it is really right off the bat. Until we get sculpting on it and then it becomes something. Alright, so now in the next video I'm going to take in uh, play around with this image. So join me in the next video.